Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my uh, new Angel Feather deck. So this is the Stride Focus Angel Feather deck. Um, and it's gone, I've already changed a little bit since playtesting it. Um, so this is the lineup that I w came up with after testing Metatron, after testing Celestials, and then testing this one simultaneously. So I finally decided on the lineup, um, and this is what I came up with. So start off very standard four black shiver gavril she's the main vanguard you can, this is the primary uh, vanguard ride target you want uh, on the vanguard um, now originally I was running the backup which would have been, was the celestial promo legion which was asmodal um, or was it makital yeah makital because asmodal is the legion mate um, that was my backup but I decided not to use the legion mainly because I didn't need the legion mate um, because the grade 2 space was really uh, cloggy. So I, I may put it back, but for now, the alternate grade 3s are 3 Mobile Ward Healing Palace. I like this because it has a Vanguard and Rear Guard effect. So if you ever have to call it down, uh, you can use it as a pretty good skill. Um, and then 1, the Phoenix Calamity Flame. Just to have another uh, frontline attacker that gains power from cycling things of the damage whether it's the opponent's turn or your turn so this is the grade 3 lineup that I went with alternatively I would recommend the promo celestial legion because that does give you access to uh, Mikhail for striding um, so that, that's a pretty good alternate vanguard but this is the lineup for now for the grade threes uh, so for grade two oops, for black slice how so this is the gb1 when it boosts counter blast one or when it's boosted counter blast one do something so this card four of it because it's really important uh you definitely want this it helps power up it helps you get your uh gb2 skill um and in that regard you can attack with it first and that does that does open up the ability to run stand triggers uh, next grade 2 is 4 Nurse of Broken Heart. This is a definite, like, must run in the deck. Um, even if you don't have Howard, you definitely want to get this. This is a common. It's really easy to get. So this is like a new and improved 1,000 uh, Ray or Million Ray Pegasus. Because it, uh, it, though it's GB1, it powers up the Vanguard and itself. And they're both wearing similar outfits, so it's kind of like they go hand in hand. So I definitely wouldn't run Gavril without Broken Heart. So four Broken Heart, and then the, the last grade two could be either uh, Million Ray Pegasus, um, but I chose to go with Love Machine Gun no Seal, just for those situations where I need to be able to, I may not be able to stride that turn, but I need to power things up, fetch a perfect guard from the damage zone, or things like that. No Seal is good in that regard. Uh, cycling things with like two things in the damage zone per turn, will make this hit the correct number so it's not too much of a problem um, although I do I do not like the 8k body um, but it has a pretty good skill without having to pay any counter blast or anything so no seal or million ray either is fine or if you're running the legion you run the legion mate um, so that's grade 2 is grade 1 I am running 2 battle cupid no seal just for the same reason so just in the event where I do not want uh, to have to take damage just to power up just for the GB2 or maybe Cal Calamity Flame or uh, Broken Hearts effect to go off I can actually defend and have the effect go, go off anyway so I can turn like 10k blocks into 5k blocks and things like that basically give you that cross ride defense and swap something maybe a perfect guard or something out from the damage under your hand so very good uh, tech choice I think at two copies it's a good number um, and then I am trying two of the Doctroid premise. Originally, I was not running this at all. Uh, I, I, I was looking at the Dalnation, which is actually a pretty solid booster. It's a pretty consistent booster for this deck. So the Dalnations, I may revisit that. Um, it seems to be pretty good. Otherwise, the other grade one that I recommend running is Thousand Ray Pegasus. So I'm running two Thousand Ray and two Doctroid, mainly because if this is in the damage zone, it's not too hard to get it out onto the field. So you really only need like two to three of this. Um, and then Doctroid is kind of like Daniel from Celestials, only it's GB1, um, and it cannot activate from face down. So it's still fairly good, uh, just to help you splash cards onto the field if you need to. 
Uh, and then the remaining grade ones are very standard. Four of the Black Call Nakir. This is the stride fodder for Gavril. And then four Black Record Israfil. You don't have to run Israfil if you don't want to. Like you can definitely run Requil. Uh, Requil is probably better in terms of the competitive play. Mainly because the deck doesn't counterblast that much. Although with Harad at four... Um, and combined with the Onstrike skill, you will still find yourself counterblasting quite a bit in here. So Israfel is good in that regard. Uh, for the Grade Zero lineup, it's four of the Stan, Doctroid. So after I figured out how good the Stan was in Metatron, I decided to put it back in this deck because originally I was running the Thermometer, or not the Thermometer Angel, but the Draw Trigger that you can flip it face down to power up the Vanguard by 3k. But I decided to swap the draws for the stands because the stand is actually really, really good. Um, especially in late game when you do not have... Uh, you may not have a way of getting Gavril's stri uh, GB2 skill and you don't have any way of striding that turn. So this can help force out the plus to the front row if you've got like a Calamity Flame or, and Gavril and a Broken Heart or or maybe two Broken Hearts and Gavril, or even Broken Heart, Gavril, and Haurit in the front, which is usually the most optimal lineup. So that's uh, that's why we run the stands. It might seem slow at first, but if after you play the deck enough rounds, you'll figure out how why these are good. Um, and then for Critical Hit Angel, Critical Hit Angel's in here just for pretty self-explanatory. It's one of the better critical triggers. It's a Flame of Victory clone. Um, it does help no seal hit for 11 if you really need that clutch turn to push for game or something like that. Um, and then four more of the new critical. So four stand, eight critical. And four heal, this is the new heal. So obviously if you have Sunny Small Angel, you can run Sunny Small Angel. She would be more uh, optimal. Definitely if I was building this deck to be very competitive spec, I would run Sunny Smile uh, as well as possibly I'd put the Legion back in, but in playing, testing the deck so far, it does fine. Um, and then the starter is, of course, Black Candle Azrael. So she's just the best starter for Gavril, uh, because it is stride focused, so you'd be able to use this early enough, unless you're up against Kagero or someone who will just kill it off. Um, so again, that's why the Legion could be useful. Uh, moving on to the stride deck. So I am running three Holy Seraph Uriel. Uh, you only really need two of these. Um, I'm only I'm running three because I don't have uh, four Raphael. I only have two. So I have two Raphael as the... Usually this is my second stride. Sometimes it's my first stride if I get rushed real early. Um, but rarely do I stride this. Uh, sometimes I do stride at third also. It just really depends on how the game goes. But it's nice to have that extra heal trigger... Um, play to go for it. On top of that, it's a stride turn, so it's a triple drive, so it's pretty good. Um, running four of this is not bad at all. Uh, it would probably be better. I'd probably, if I had four, I would definitely drop Uriel to two, and I would also drop the last card to two. So the last card is Holy Seraph Raziel. This card is surprisingly good because it makes your uh, Broken Heart really strong. Um, even like Thousand Ray gets a lot of power from this. So, really good card. Um, that's basically it. If you want to take in a Blizza, that's fine. You can take either of one of these out or run for Raphael. Um, that was basically my Gavril deck, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, what you would suggest changing in terms of the Grade 3 lineup, Grade 2 lineup, Grade 1. Um, and like I said, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.